Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Fallout 3 tutorial. This time I'll be telling you how to put all of the files from my previous videos into the Fallout 3 game itself. First what you're going to want to do is open Garden of Eden Creation Kit that we downloaded on the first video. Then what you want to do is close this and click all that will come in handy later what you find is there already are some things here before you've loaded the game but most of it is just test objects so you do click file data and then double click the fallout3.esm master file that will check it off don't click anything else, just the Fallout 3 master file and click OK. This will take a varying amount of time to load depending on your computer screen speed, but there is a progress percent at the bottom of the screen. Okay, it's gone ahead and put me straight back into there, so re click all. It may freeze for a second at most while it's clicking all because of the amount of objects it needs to load. I mean, look at all that. But once you've done that, click the cell view, type in Megaton Player House. That will load the house you inhabit from saving Megaton from the atomic bomb double click anything inside click yes to all once it's loaded all the references there you go you've loaded up the cell now if you blew up Megaton rather than saving it you want to search 10 penny Yeah, ten penny O three player. That will load your ten penny apartment you get for blowing up Megaton. Okay, so now that you've loaded up your whole cell, the first one do click M I will turn off all the light and light person render all the stuff you won't see in the game next thing you want to do is go down into this little corner here it's the only place I found that's not too cluttered click in the filter and type web no. first person laser and then click the rifle, right click, click edit, change that to let's say RCW, click edit, now you've got the mesh for the original laser rifle, don't know why the texture's been retarded but there we go, go into tutorial meshes, laser, laser RCW, double click, and there it is, click OK click OK telling you that you've created a new form click yes you want to create a new one and there's your RCW first person now want to change that to beam laser projectile click edit change that to say say RCW beam laser projectile change the art file to meshes tutorial meshes laser RCW laser beam click OK do not change anything except the name and well ID and the art file 
Now that you've created those, search whip laser, drag a laser rifle in, press F to drop it to the floor. Now double click it, click edit base, click ignore. Now we need to change around all the info in here. First, we'll change the ID. Let's say Web Laser RCW. Change that to RCW. Now the ID is what it will be called when editing, and the name will what it be called when you're playing the game itself. So make sure this is a sensible name. This can be called whatever you want because you won't be able to see it when in game the only time you'll see it in game is through using console commands and clicking on it but you won't see it when actually playing the game now the ammo is already set but it's a laser rifle so we change clip rounds to let's say 50 since it's a machine gun it's going to weigh a little more so let's say 11 health oh 1500. If you want to be invincible, change it to 999910. That's the highest health you can have. It's a bit of an odd number, but oh well. And because of the amount of health it has, by the time it's run out of health and broken, you'll have stopped playing the game 10 years ago. So, no worries there. Critical damage, let's say 21. Damage oh, 20 because of it being rapid fire, damage is each bullet. Now, damage per second has been put about 19, so let's put the damage up a bit. 25, you get 23 damage per second. Put it about 27, so we've got 25 damage per second. Critical damage, say about. 30. Now, this is what we're after the semi automatic fire delay. This is the time between each shot. So, on the minimum time, let's say 0 0.05. Click the wrong button there. Maximum 0 0.15. That means the maximum amount of time between shots will be 0 0.15 seconds. The minimum time will be 0 0.05 seconds. Now, keep that as disintegration FX spell, because that's what's turned them into a pile of ash when you get a critical death. Let's keep it as dismember only since it's a laser weapon. Resist, energy resist. It means anything that's resistant to energy weapons will resist this. Action points, say it takes 22 to fire. Base chance, say about 40. This is the least amount of percentage in VATS you can have for this weapon. So you'll never get any percentage less than 40%. Now, click Art and Sound. Images, you can change that if you want. Draw your own little Fallout Boy vault boy carrying it but I'm terrible at drawing so I'm not even going to attempt it model or click edit now you've got your mesh again except the texture is not screwed up this time same thing again so you've got your RCW click OK change the first person to first person RCW change the projectile to RCW project beam laser projectile and then click OK. Click yes, click OK. Now you have your laser RCW in the game. So now whenever you go to your house this will be waiting there. Of course you can put it wherever you want, but for your first mod it's probably best to put it somewhere easy to reach and the house is probably the easiest place unless you put it in like right on the floor of uh, Megaton but 
then it could get kicked around by pedestrians and all that and it's just a lot easier to put it in here so now that you've got your weapon in there you want to click file save it will bring you straight to the data folder don't go into any folder just save it here let's say I'm going to save it as tutorial mod file of course name it whatever you want click save so now when you go into data the proof now at the bottom got your tutorial mod file dot esp that's the active file if you ever come back to a mod that you want to edit what you want to do is if I unclick everything you want to check off the fallout3.esm and check off your mod you also want to click set as active file that will let you save over it whenever you've finished your update ok now what you want to do close or minimize gec and open fallout mod manager once it loads there we go your mod should be at the bottom it might be mixed in but just search for it and find it and click the checkbox that will mean your mod is turned on now and is able to be used in the game close mod manager now I'm going to turn off Hypercam and rejoin you in Fallout 3 with Fraps so that I can show you it is in there. See you in a minute. Alright, welcome back. We're on Fallout 3 now. What I'm going to do is head back to the Megaton house and check up on the laser RCW we added in on Gek. Now a lot of these mods I've got here can be found on Fallout 3 Nexus and of course just search for them. One I'm actually going to endorse right now, call me what you want, but this robot replacer mod. Um I'm trying to remember what it's called. I'm sure if you just search in Protectron or Robot replace uh, something like that into Fallout 3 Nexus it should come up but I cannot for the life of me remember what it's actually called but what it does is replaces um, types of robots depending on which type you want to replace into a lot better version like a Tektron here which looks about 50 times better um, this one the Mr. Gusties haven't changed much because I'm using a different replacer for those which is energy visuals enhanced just makes those little flashing lights the eyes flash a bit better weapons stuff like that now we could fast travel there we could take my awesome jetpack we could take my vertibird but of course both the jetpack and the vertibird fall apart and crash the game I, I'll i be honest, I've recorded this twice now, first using the VertiBird and then using the Jetpack and both times the game has crashed and I've had to restart it. So I'm just going to take it easy this time and drive my motorbike there. We'll call this dual Gatlings on the side of it. <laughs> Who needs walking anyways when you got a motorbike? Kill a death claw! <laughs> Whenever you smack into things with this mod, it sends them flying. So it's hilarious sometimes. The only thing is that it is crash physics, so don't go flying into a building because you will fall off. 
If I remember right, this mod's called the Jinxified Drivable Motorbike. With, I can't remember, but he spelled Jinx weirdly, like with a load of numbers. So just search Drivable Motorbike into the Nexus and it should come up. Two giant forest of trees I've added in. You might have said, why am I doing this? Why didn't I just fast travel there? Well, because I like driving a motorbike. And face planting into a rock and losing all sense of where my camera is going. But most of all, I love running over night ghouls. Come on, get up. Pop. I also have a pre-war mod so that everything's back the way it was before the bombs. Or at least slightly back. So it's still got broken roads and all that and all the DC buildings are still screwed but it looks a little bit better. Why is Deputy World hostile? I haven't done anything to you, you stupid robot. If he shoots at me, I'm killing him. No. You know what, I don't want to get hostile with the city, so... Didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't steal his ammo. And I have no idea where he's resurrected to, but who cares? There he is. Yeah, not hostile now, are you? What's he doing in the city? Yeah, why why was he in the city? He always sits outside. Yeah, you know, I can't resist this. I know I'm on a tutorial video, but it's always funny. But I'm in tipping. Uh, you, you can do that whenever you want, it's not a mod, just crouch and then activate the barman and he'll push it over. <laughs> uh, grab that. There we go. Laser RCW that we just created in Gek. One Meridius. And find it. 
Phase of RCW. Now, as you can see, it's not rapid fire yet, which is why we have trial and error. But, on the good side, you can see the reload is working. Even though the drum mag takes up a lot of the screen. So, we head back and change the values to get it to work. If you set it to, let's say, 0 0.01 seconds to 0 0.02 seconds, and that should work perfectly. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back after changing the variables. And of course, being a laser weapon, I actually can't make it that rapid fire. Because this is on uh, a tenth of a second, a uh, hundredth of a second. But if you rapid tap it, you can make it fire fast enough. But there are just some weapons out there that can't be rapid fired. Okay. For proof that I can actually rapid fire stuff, um, I don't think this is actually here yet. I'm going to have to go to one of my test rooms to show you. This is for a mod I'm working on and no it is nowhere near ready for release. Didn't want to take the helmet, but never mind. Peep, 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 there. It's just a regular plasma pistol that I've added a submachine gun kind of clip to it. So it does work. So it is possible to make rapid fire weapons, but there are some that obviously cannot be rapid fired, like a laser rifle, which I didn't know, so thanks to that little mess up, I've just figured that out. But in any case, you've changed the mesh, changed the damage of it, and hang on, too late. And from the looks of it, we've changed the colour of the projectile as well. Because that looks more of an orange than a red now. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry that it turned out that we couldn't make it rapid fire in the end at all. But if you maybe have a little bit more of a tinker with it, you can figure out how to make it rapid fire. Because I, of course, have only just had like a few seconds working on it to make it rapid fire doing this video. Uh, thanks for watching, it's been a follow up free tutorial on creating your own weapons. Hope you insert a few of your own ones because to be honest the vanilla weapons are fairly boring. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.